16-year-old Emily Stout is about to have an emergency. So is 17-year-old Charlie Hannon, who wanted to get out of his body. Sixteen-year-old Emily Stout is about to have an emergency. So is seventeen-year-old Charlie Hannon, who wanted to get out of his biology quiz anyway. The emergency is an elderly woman down, possible heart attack. This is not a drill. This is not a course. On scene. This is what happens every time there's a medical emergency in Darien, Connecticut. High school kids come to the rescue. It all started in 1969 as a Boy Scout project, just a group of kids and a first aid tent. They called it Post 53, and every year the project got bigger. Today, it's a full ambulance service, staffed by students. We are trained the same amount as every other EMT in the state um, and around the country, but the fact is, is that we're just younger. Personally, I found it hard to believe at first. Susan Warren is their adult leader. You think teenagers, I mean, they can't drive the ambulance. Well, yes, they can. I know they can, but they don't. Yes, they do. Uh, well, but, okay, but they can't really take care of the actual patients. Yes, they can. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? How would you feel if a pimply-faced teenager showed up to your next heart attack? Well, before you answer, I want you to know that an adult follows along on every call and trained paramedics are always available if needed. But generally, the kids do all the work and by all accounts, perform remarkably well. Do you think you've ever saved a life? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah, I think uh, earlier this week, someone who we were there, they were breathing, they had a pulse, and then all of a sudden they lost their pulse. We began CPR and within four minutes they had their pulse back. In fact, over the years, they've saved hundreds of lives and delivered six babies. Fortunately, today, no heroics were necessary. The possible heart attack ended up being just a bad fall. I consider it like a job. I think it's a job that I have to fulfill, and I have a responsibility, and I have to fulfill it. If I don't, well, someone's life is at risk. Like many kids who pass through post-53, Charlie plans to go to medical school and eventually become a surgeon. Of course, first he has to make up that biology quiz. Steve Hartman, CBS News.